first a careful survey is made by the unit gas officer. He wears his mask and protective clothing for the job. He determines whether or not the area can be cleaned up immediately. In some cases, the area may be too large. However, all contaminated areas are marked, and when necessary, detours are indicated on the map. With this information, the officer returns to the leaders of the detail. And after showing them the area which must be decontaminated and explaining how this must be carried out, he orders them to begin at once. At a safe distance from the gassed area, the truck stops to allow the men to put on gas masks and adjust their hoods. Then the men move into the contaminated area. These shell holes and the area around them must be cleaned up before the road can be used by troops. Before any work is begun, a sign is posted to warn advancing troops of the danger. It should be placed in a spot where it can easily be seen. This sign gives the type of gas and the date of posting. When all men have checked their masks and clothing, Detailed orders are given so that the work can be done quickly and thoroughly. The leader of the detail checks the wind direction and orders the men to work on the upwind side so that dangerous vapors may be avoided as much as possible. Each of these shell holes represents a different problem in decontamination and they will be handled in a different way. Each man gets the tools he needs to do the job that has been assigned to him. <laughs> 